Hey, it's Steve Jolly with the Home Buying Skills Channel. And on today's show, we're gonna talk about will home prices drop in 2022? And when will interest rates go down? Are you ready to get started? Let's get to business. So the first thing I want to share with you today is data from the Federal Reserve of St. Louis taking a look at home prices going all the way back to the 1970s. And during that time, we had six recessions. We had the energy crisis. We had the savings and loan crisis. We had the dot-com bust. We had 9-11. We had the Great Recession. And then we had the pandemic. And in five of those six recessions, home values either grew or they remained flat in those recessionary periods. So don't let the negative news about the market scare you unless it's a worldwide cataclysmic financial meltdown or something similar to that like we had in the Great Recession. It's not likely that prices are going to decline in most places across the United States this year or any time in the near future. And that's simply because demand is greater than supply. We quit building homes during the Great Recession and now we're about 4 million homes behind where we need to be for this time right now. And that's one of the reasons why prices are so high for homes. It's because there's more demand than there is supply. And that's really what's driving the market today. That and interest rates. Speaking of interest rates, let's talk a little bit about interest rates and the inflationary pressure. Now, the recent change in the market, where it went from a seller's market to more of a balanced market, is mostly due to interest rates. The interest rate shot up 200 basis points in a very short period of time, in a matter of weeks. And that was shocking to the market because what it did was it destroyed affordability. Buyers that could afford a home all of a sudden a few weeks later couldn't afford the home they had under contract. Either that or their payment went up by $1,000 or $800. Or they no longer qualified for that home because it pushed their debt to income ratio too high. So for all those reasons, that high interest rate is really driving the slowdown in the market. And interest rates are being pushed up by inflation. So inflation causes the Fed to raise their interest rate that they loan money to banks with on a daily basis. And if it costs banks more money to borrow money, then they have to charge you more when they're lending you money to buy a home. There's not a direct relationship between the Fed raising the rate and the interest rates going up but it usually happens. And so the Fed is doing that to control the economy. They either use interest rates to stimulate the economy or they use it to slow down the economy. Since we're talking about interest rates, let's talk a little bit about interest rate predictions. Now the predictions are gonna be based on whether these experts think the Fed or the Federal Reserve is doing a good job of slowing down inflation. If they think they're doing a good job of slowing down inflation, then they're gonna predict their interest rates for mortgages are gonna be close to what they are now. If they don't think they're gonna do a good job slowing down inflation, then they're gonna predict the interest rates are gonna be much higher. Now, here's what these three experts said, and then I'll share my thoughts. Now, the Mortgage Bankers Association predicts at the end of 2022, the rates are gonna be above 5%, and that's a pretty safe bet. No one really expects rates to go below 5% this year, mostly due to inflation. Now, the chief economist for the National Association of Realtors believes that the interest rates will be closer to 6% at the end of the year, and they could go as high as 7% if the Federal Reserve does not do a good job of keeping inflation down. Now, the chief economist for the website Realtor.com thinks the interest rates will be about 5.5% at the end of 2022. So remember, housing is 20% of the national gross domestic product. So it's a key tool that the Federal Reserve uses to either stimulate or slow down the economy. I personally think the Federal Reserve waited too long to react to the inflation, and now they're slightly overreacting, which I think is going to cause us to go into a short recession in the near future, and that's when rates will start coming back down. When the Fed realizes they need to stimulate the economy, they see us going into the recession, they'll bring rates back down, mortgages will come back down, and that'll help the housing industry jumpstart again. Now, no one knows the exact date when rates will start coming down. 
So you have to keep an eye on it because they change on a daily basis. But we do know from history, as we enter a recession, the Federal Reserve cuts rates to stimulate the economy. So that's when we really expect rates to come back down. I don't know when that'll be. Hopefully it'll be in the next year or two. And if it is, it would be a good time to buy now and then refinance when those rates drop back down. So let's talk about a few more expert predictions for home prices and interest rates in the next year. Now Zillow predicts that home prices will increase 11.6% between May of 2022 and April of 2023 across the nation. CoreLogic, another player in the real estate data market, has a slightly tempered prediction for home prices. They only expect 5.9% growth between now and next year, about half of what Zillow predicted. They also mentioned a few markets where there are some risks of price declines, but they said two thirds of the US, which is mostly the center of the US, has a very low chance of having any price declines, less than 20% of a chance of price declines in the next year. The highest chances for price declines is along the Pacific coast and in the Northeast of the United States, according to CoreLogic and their data. Finally, let's go back to the National Association of Realtors and their chief economists and look at what they're predicting for the rest of this year. Now, the National Association of Realtors expects home price appreciation to grow 6.6% in 2022. So we've already had that much price growth this year so far. So what I get from that is the National Association of Realtors are telling us, don't expect much price growth for the last half of 2022. They're also saying existing home sales are going to be down 6.7% from when they were last year. Now that might seem like a lot, but even if they are down 6.7% from last year, it will be the second highest number of sales ever across the nation. They also expect home for sale inventory to increase at least 15% across the nation. Now we've already seen that here in Nashville. In some areas, there's a lot of inventory. In other areas, there's hardly any inventory. So one thing you need to realize is everything is local. What happens across the nation does not necessarily mean that's what's happening in your backyard. So you need to look at the local numbers from a trusted expert in your area. Now, the realtors also expect housing starts to be up 5%, which is good because we need all the new homes that we can get. And they also expect that a strong job market is going to help people to weather some of these increases in prices and in interest rates. That's the good news. Finally, I want to wrap it up by saying once again, everything is local. You need to look in your community, in your own backyard to find out what's happening because it's going to be different than in other areas. So if you're thinking about buying or thinking about selling right now, here's what you should be doing. Keeping an eye on prices and keeping an eye on interest rates. That's what's really driving the market. And when you see those change, you know the market is going to change again. Thank you for tuning in and watching the show on the housing market. If you liked the video, please click on the like button to let us know you enjoyed it. And if you have any questions about the market, leave them in the comments below and I'll make sure to answer them. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell so you'll never miss one of our videos. Take care and have a great day.